All right, I'm Dr. Joel Levy. This is Dr. Jessica Shida. We're with Mission Move PT, obviously. And so today we're doing a little bit of a Instagram TV series, so a little bit longer series on teaching me how to do a clean. A, a clean. <laughs> right, and so you all know that I'm more into like running and cycling. I've done cleans before, but it has been years since I've done some cleans. So the whole coordination of what it takes to do a clean is not uh, something I'm really good at right now. So this could be, this could be funny, kind of interesting. Um, um, Jessica does these all the time. And so I thought this would be fun. She can teach me how to do this. Actually, next month, a little preview, we're going to teach Jessica how to run. So, um, <laughs> but anyway, so Jessica, why don't you first show them okay. what what you're going to teach me hopefully how to do or at least some of the steps to it probably in this little series i probably won't do it, actually do it that well but we're going to show you kind of the steps okay so go ahead and show me. okay so i'll okay. show you like the final product obviously the throughout this video series we are going to break it down step by step so i'll just show you what we're aiming for right there's two different versions there's a power clean where you just kind of catch it in a power position or a squat clean so power clean first coming from the ground again and then squat clean. Dropping all the way down. There we go. So that's how you should do it. <laughs> okay, so now, Jessica, we're gonna start with, um, she's gonna show me a couple steps. So what are the first steps? Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is talk about the positions. So these are all the positions that you're gonna hit as you go through that motion. Um, so if you're doing this at home or just learning out for the first time, I suggest using a PVC pipe, you can also use a broomstick, anything that's straight, just something super light until you get this down, because that <laughs> will get tiring quick. Okay, so I'm gonna give this to Joel. First thing we're gonna talk about is just grip. So you're gonna wanna be about shoulder width apart, so not super wide, not super narrow, something in between. And then from here, you're gonna talk about hook grip too. So this is a grip that you use for Olympic weightlifting. You're gonna take your thumb underneath the bar, yep, and then take your fingers and <laughs> go over the top of your thumb. So you're kind of smushing your thumb. This is the most um, secure grip that you want to use for this power position so the bar doesn't slip out of your hands while you're doing this, okay? So um, that will be <laughs> uncomfortable for probably like two, three weeks. It's not gonna feel great, but then after that, you won't even notice it, okay? So positions, Whew, here we go. Okay. Okay, <laughs> first position. So there's a couple different ways you can do this too. You can go top down or bottom up. So if you have a really great deadlift, um, you could probably do this comfortably going bottom up, but we're just gonna start from the top for simplicity's sake. So first position you're gonna do is the power position. This is the most important position because this is where all your power comes from, right? Olympic weightlifting is all about power and explosiveness. So to get to this position, you're gonna start there. You're going to bend your knees slightly. So just get a little soft knee. And then from there, you're gonna stick your shoulders over the bar. So you're just gonna get over the top, stick your butt out a little bit. And then from there, and keep it close, Keep it nice and close, yep, don't let the bar float away from you. Then from there, you're gonna slide down to the hang position. So you're gonna just slide down right above the knee. Okay, so same idea, your butt is back, your shoulders are on top of the bar. Um, you should feel like your glutes and hamstrings kind of turned on already in this position. And then the last position you're gonna do is the low hang. So from here, you're just gonna drop down farther, knees go back. So give your butt up a little bit. Yep, perfect. So see how he just kind of like readjusted and got his shoulders over the bar a little bit? That's gonna be your low hang position. So this is actually the first position that you're gonna go into when you're lifting from the ground. So just again, from the top, so come back up. Just stand up. Okay. Yep, perfect. <laughs> so just one more time, power position. So power, yep, perfect. Slide it down, get to that hang, good. And then one more time down, low hang. Perfect. Okay. So those are the three positions. <laughs> those are right. three so positions. So this is the second video in the series where Dr. Jessica tries to teach me how to do a clean. And this part of the clean pool is where there's some, what would you say, some rhythm, some sort of like some power, some explosiveness, some explosiveness. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. It, it's I remember when I tried to learn this before. It was like uh, like a five year old learning to ride bike. So <laughs> it, it's a little awkward. It, it, but anyway, we'll, we'll see. So she's gonna she's gonna try to teach me some of these. Finer points. Okay, so basically you want to think of the clean pull as a faster way to go through the positions that we just did. Okay, so you know we just went over the positions hang um, or power, hang, low hang. You're doing those same positions but faster. And then you know to take it one step farther, you add a little bit of jump and a little bit of hip contact. 
Um, and then this is basically the entire clean without the catch. So it's, it's pretty advanced. You know, there are other drills that you can do to kind of break it down even farther, but we're just going for it. We're going to try it. Okay, so should I? Okay, you got this. All right, so same position as before, but we're, gonna, we're actually going to start from the bottom this time. So he's going to get into his bottom position, knees back just a little. Yep, keep the bar close. Uh, maybe drop down just a smidge. Yep. So from here, you're basically going to go through. You're going to hit all of those same motions starting at the low hang. And then at the top, you're just going to get a little bit of jump. So don't even do anything with your arms yet. Just go through. Just come up. Hit that contact at your hips. Can I do and then get a jump. Yeah, get, get a slow motion. Hit. And then here. And a little bit more legs. Yep. Yeah. You want to think of it as a jump. OK. okay. So, so come down. Come down. Yeah, not bad. Good. And then from here, you want to make sure also you're keeping it close. You don't want to ever jump to the bar. You want to bring, keep the bar to you. Yep. So then come down, up. Yeah, not bad. And then so now let's get a little bit more arms in there. So jump and then get a little shrug and a pull. Not bad. Good. Okay. So that's good. So what he's doing well is he's hitting his hips, right? That's the most important position. That's where all your power comes from. If you ever see people Olympic lifting and not hitting their hips, they're not doing it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you always want to make sure you're getting that hip contact. That's the most important thing. And then from that hip contact, you want to make sure you're avoiding that big rainbow. So yeah, so that was good. So he's keeping it nice and close from there. And then maybe just get a little bit more elbows in there. So a little bit more elbow bend. Yeah, good, awesome. So then, like I said, it's the whole thing. The only thing we're kind of leaving out right now is the catch, okay? So this is a really great drill to just practice your positions while adding that extra little bit of um, explosiveness and power in there that you need in order to do this with weight. Cool. So next video, what are we doing? Next video, we're gonna go through the full clean and we're just gonna go through some common mistakes and cues that may be able to help you with that. Dr. Joel Eby, Dr. Jessica Sheeta, and this is the third video in where Jess teaches me how to, to clean. So we're actually going to use the bar here. Hopefully I can put it all together. All <laughs> you right? got this. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to basically just do the full movement now. Okay. Um, you know, we did the positions, we did the pull, now we're just adding the catch. Okay. So we're just going to go through a couple cues and things that might help you. So we're going to start down in the um, low hang or the bottom position. Okay, so go ahead and just kind of try one out. Good, okay, not bad. So a couple things that you want to focus on for this, okay? So you want to focus on keeping the bar close so you don't want to get that rainbow effect, right? So a lot of people will be like, okay, I'm hitting my hips, and then the bar will go crazy out, and then they will either have to jump to it or the whole thing will just fall apart, <laughs> one of the two. Okay, so keep the bar super close on this next one. Think up, yeah, okay. I think I hit myself. A little too close. A little too close. That's what happens when it's a little too close. Not bad, not bad though. And then triple extension, right? Getting that jump, you want hips, knees, and ankles. Triple extension, good. Awesome. That's not bad. And then from here too, relax your fingers a little bit in that catch. You don't need to have a full death grip on the bar. You can kind of let the fingers relax and do it. Not bad, yep. And he's doing a pretty good job keeping his hips back too. Another common thing that people will do is they'll catch it and they'll be like really like knees forward, right? You wanna recruit those glutes and hamstrings. You wanna go hips back. So almost as if you're gonna squat. So you wanna get ready to squat. Um, one more thing I'll mention is um, make sure you're not, um, you wanna make sure that you are pulling the bar to your shoulders. So you're not bringing it so high and then kind of collapsing down. That's where you get those terrible bruises that everyone will have when they first start CrossFit, right? You wanna control it and bring it straight to the shoulders. Yeah, try lock, one more. Lock it down. Yeah, that was pretty good. He's getting the it's elbows okay. around. It's okay. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I mean, it's first day learning how to clean. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So just to review, um, keep the bar close, avoid that rainbow, um, bring the bar to your shoulders instead of bringing it so high, like you're gonna pull it up to the ceiling and then have it crash down. Um, and make sure that you kind of keep your hips back and don't recruit all, all these quads and hurt your knees, right? You wanna recruit all those bigger glutes and hamstring muscles and pretend that you're gonna go into that full squat clean or get ready to do that. Yeah, so, so if, thanks for watching this. I mean, if you're someone that thought like, hey, I always want to learn how to clean or do some of those Olympic lifts. Um, 
Jessica, as you can see, is obviously really good at teaching those and, we, and she'd love to be able to take you through that. Or if you're someone who does these on a regular basis, but you're having some pain issues, that's another area that we can definitely help. We can not only help you with what's going on with the pain, but also look at your form and just see if there's any things that we can clean up in your technique that will help you get rid of some of that pain too. So, but if you have any questions, um, DM us and... Uh...